Schools in Mobile County closing earlier than planned. The decision to do so uh, instead of Wednesday coming amid low attendance. Investigative reporter Brendan Kirby standing by live now with that part of the story. So Brendan, talk about the plan here. Well, sure, Lenise, and as you mentioned, more than half of the students in Mobile and Baldwin counties were absent from school on Monday. In Mobile County, 57% of the kids were not in the classroom, and that figure in Baldwin County was 75%. So Mobile County School Superintendent Cressel Threadgill making the decision today to close the schools as of the close of business today. That's a day ahead of the statewide school shutdown that's scheduled for tomorrow. School spokeswoman Renee Phillips telling us that there are plans underway to set up feeding centers at some of the schools to feed low-income kids. Our schools are closing tomorrow, but we still have a lot of work that we're going to be doing in the community with Mobile County Public Schools. Um, we will continue to feed children because that was one of our concerns from the get-go is many of our students depend on schools for meals. So we will start a feeding program on Thursday that will be similar to our summer feeding program. Now, the details of that plan are still being worked out, but as Philip said, it will be similar to what the school system does over the summer. Teachers, meanwhile, have assigned work for their students to keep them sharp through the end of this break, which will last at least until April 6th. They can access that work online, or they also have the opportunity to come into their schools and pick up physical packets of work uh, anytime between now and 3 p.m. on Friday. Reporting now live from Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.